morning guys we are back out here at this uh, package unit that had the leaky condenser coil and I uh, just got here and just began my recovery process as you can see we have one side of the coil which is the left and back side of the coil which was the one that was leaking so I'm just gonna wait for this thing to pull down like I said I just started the uh, just started the evacuation so we got a ways to go I think this thing holds like close to 10 pounds of tw uh, 410 I believe I believe somewhere uh, 9.7 pounds so as you can see we have our coil out here I wish they'd ship them a little bit better um, just the way that they ship them is kind of it's a giant box and there's just a ton of room for things to get moved around you can see it's got a couple dents and dings in it um, one thing that makes me a little bit nervous is the plug was missing it actually wasn't even in the box so um, fingers crossed that this coil holds pressure hopefully it will but the game plan at least now while I'm recovering is I'm going to take all these panels off take that corner piece off disconnect the condenser fan pull that off and then I'll be uh, basically removing the entire top that's going to be the uh, the game plan to get these apart you basically have to take the louvers off first and then you can take if you needed to take the corner panels off the screws are underneath of the louvers so but that's what I'm gonna do I'm also gonna weigh out what I have have a uh, tear weight of this tank 17 pounds six ounces so I weighed that brand new tank so weighed that prior to starting my recovery I'll weigh it again just to see how much refrigerants in it and uh, since that refrigerants clean and this is 10 year parts and labor warranty we are more than likely going to be reusing that refrigerant so that's the game plan guys so I'm going to uh, shut this down start taking this unit apart and I'll get back to you when we are getting ready to take the coil out. We got everything recovered now. I'm getting ready to unsweat this coil. And we're just going to unsweat this fitting here, this fitting here, and this one whole side of the coil will come off. So you can see I went ahead and cleaned up everything uh, a little bit, cleaned up the leaves and stuff in the bottom. I got my little shop back over there. I'll go ahead and uh, get up all this mud and leaves and debris out of there while I have this coil out so but got my little nitrogen purge going now so I'm gonna get ready to fire up the torch and uh, unsweat these two fittings and get this coil out of here and just like that we are disconnected as you can see just unsweat that unsweat this fitting and uh, I could have unsweat this on the coil over there but uh, I figured we'd take out this whole original fitting with the piston body and we'll put that shiny new one that comes on the, uh, the warranty coil back in place. So we'll just have one braze joint here, one braze joint there, and then of course our filter dryer. So, But this coil is ready to come out. I'm just going to let this cool down for a second and uh, we'll slide this coil out. Like I said, I'll clean up all this uh, trash and mess inside of here once I get this coil out of the way. All right, guys, we got her pretty cleaned up. Got most of the mud and junk out of there. Vacuumed the uh, the bottom pan out down there as well. Again, I'm not here for a maintenance, just here to uh, perform this warranty job. So, but before I put this coil in, I wanted to thank California for putting a sticker on here telling me that uh, that this could cause cancer, and also putting it conveniently right on my solder joint so I'm gonna have to try to tear this sticker off and uh, yeah so I got a good place for my braze to uh, to go on there but yeah I love these stickers all over everything it makes things great so might have to get the wire brush out on the impact and uh, go to town on that bad boy but that's uh, that's where we're at right now guys so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clean that fitting up we're gonna drop that coil down there I'm gonna check the uh, or check the piston see what piston where am I at see what piston is in there see if there is a piston in here if not make sure they're the same or take this one out put it in there you get the idea so that's what we're going to do now before we go and uh, put this coil on top of the unit all right guys we're closing in on 15 minutes under pressure test 
and we have actually raised, I'm not sure how well you can see, but our pressure actually raised three tenths of a PSI, probably because the sun's came out over here and it's gotten uh, super warm over here. So um, I think it's supposed to be close to 70 today, but you can see we did put a new dryer in. See, we got the brazed in. I just uh, crimped that little fitting just to hold the dryer nice and steady. We got our solder joint here, solder joint there, and uh, yeah, look at the factory solder joints on this thing. Some of them are definitely questionable compared to the uh, the original. Looks like much more attention to detail went into the original than it did the replacement, but it's holding, no leaks, so I'm going to get ready to throw this thing on a vacuum and button this thing back up. We'll weigh in the charge and we should be ready to roll. Alright guys, sorry I couldn't show you the uh, evacuation and all that good stuff. Uh, a customer came outside and we were hanging out over here, kind of shooting the breeze, enjoying the, uh, the beautiful weather. As you can see, gorgeous outside, it's like 65 degrees, so... We were out here just uh, just chit-chatting a little bit, so didn't get to show you the vacuum, but uh, everything went fine, just as normal. So I'm weighing in the factory charge. I'm using Virgin Refrigerant. Opted to go that route because the strainer where the piston was when I opened that up, it looked really dark and dingy. So just in case there was any contaminants in the refrigerant, I opted to just go ahead and uh, use Virgin Refrigerant. So this thing holds 9.7 pounds. I think this tank had about eight pounds in it, so we are just about to the end of this tank. So I'm going to go get a fresh tank. We will top off the refrigerant charge and be ready to fire this bad boy up. All right, guys, we are all back together, up and running. Charge weighed in. Running in air conditioning right now because it's almost 70 degrees outside. It's about 67 inside, so it's kind of kind of weird conditions right now where it's cooler. Uh, Kind of low ambient outside but also low load As you can see our number is 113 268 again we got the factory charge weighed in so i'm not too concerned ran it in heating i was running about a about a buck 14 and somewhere flirting with about 405 head pressure so um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and call it good like i said we're kind of in between weather right now so just wanted to run it in both modes but like i said everything's just about packed up, just gonna grab my uh, my MB2 and the impact and uh, throw the compressor door on and we'll be off to the next one. So thanks for watching guys, like, comment, subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.